Namaste. We continue with the video clips uh, of the guidance and the experience sharing from the most senior, most oncologist in India, Dr. C.P. Matthews, sir. So, I would be now uh, requesting his comments on the, about the variety of the oncology cases that comes to him, the patients. Uh, which are the ones he finds more common. We are aware of the fact that he himself had mentioned one of the video clips that compared to the 60s and 70s when oral cancer and cervix cancer was very high, which is not that common now for various medical social reasons, uh, we are going to request him his comments on which are the cases that he finds most common now and the ones uh, which are more hopeful uh, in his experience. So, we will be making sure that uh, this is conveyed and of course, it is not a very conclusive answer because uh, there are more varieties that are being treated. So, the most uh, commonest that you find now? Common now is breast. So common. I am indeed surprised that the incidence of breast cancer is so high now. Even in young women like 20, 25, 26 years. I remember a patient who came recently, 25-year-old girl who married one year, had a tumor in the left breast, and she died within three months with extensive metastasis. This is what we find. When they start the treat, the disease is first detected itself, it has spread throughout the body. The whole skeleton, liver, uh, lung everywhere and what is the uh, where is the treatment how to treat them it is a, it is a very very and they are dying like flies 20 25 married one year one child early. and it is so common I see in my younger days that is the 1960s I never I have never seen such cases they were all old women uh, having delivered many times and all that. But that is not the case now. I don't know. There is something wrong with our uh, food. either food or our environment. environment. I don't know what it is. It is a very, very pathetic sight. That is the situation now. I, I remember him. We will come to the topic of the other uh, uh, diagnosis of oncology that sir comes very commonly in uh, practice, uh, into his practice. Uh, I remember you mentioning about uh, the animal protein and uh, the aspect of obesity. Fat, that, yeah. fat, fat. So, uh, I remember uh, how very clearly I was shown in a certain textbook of medicine, the role of animal protein, so which would lead us to vegetarianism aspect and the, also the element of obesity uh, that is so much connected. And incidentally, well, we, we can't claim obesity is reason for CA breast, but the majority of the people who come see a breast in our clinic uh, where he is practicing now are very obese. Uh, very lean people have come but just very, very few. So I think that's something that the young ladies or anyone at that any age can keep that in mind. So other than the breast cancer, which other uh, conditions comes to you most? You see, I don't know whether you know that. Pure herbivorous animals, you don't get cancer. Cancer is there only in carnivorous animals. Human digestive system is, a, is meant for pure herbs. It's a, just like herbivorous animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can never detect a cancer in a herbivorous animal. But for dogs and cats, cancer is very common. Same thing is there in our case also. Our main cause for high incidence of cancer is our non-vegetarian diet. So I insist people, I advise them to change over to vegetarian diet always because animal protein contains a carcinogen, the cancer originating enzyme carcinogen is present only in animal protein, not in vegetable protein. That is this safety factor. Then why do you eat animal protein? You are consuming carcinogen and you are suffering cancer. That is the beauty of it. That, I, I think this should be very, very widely known to the public because animal protein. Now, 
I don't think the high incidence of cancer now is because our population of age or for the last 40 or 50 or 60 years they are very you know on a large scale they are uh, uh, non vegetarians that is the main reason for this high incidence of cancer and uh, uh, i was also being conveyed uh, how the the impact of the environment of course has an impact how the mind factor has a major role uh, in the recovery which we all of us are aware of and more so in oncology about how we were discussing about the role of a possible psychologist or other measures and we will make a different clip for that um, a different video clip all together for the mind of uh, assertiveness and uh, many other aspects which are healing in nature in a very fantastic manner and uh, i would also recollect uh, sir was communicating that in his practice uh, you come across lung cancer quite a lot uh, the abdomen cancer quite very, a lot very very high very high you know especially among women we never used to get the cancer of the lung in women in former days now it is so common cancer of the lung is very common i don't know what is the the reason behind it because even many many women even in older days they were using kitchen they were supposed to smoke and all that but now the incidence of cancer lung among women is very high in fact almost equal to men that is a even men, without being smokers yeah 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 it's very high very high and also of the abdomen conditions also very high yes very high yes recently i saw a woman she she was uh, she was a perfectly healthy she was doing everything but within a week she fell ill and they found the whole abdomen is can full filled with cancer and we don't know where it started but uh, there is absolutely no organ free of cancer uh, within a week time she had it hardly for 40 or 45 year old woman that is the situation now it is very 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 Uh, I know perplexing. I don't know what what is the reason for this uh, high incidence. And we will come to other aspects of diet, etc., in a different clip. But for the moment, we will conclude this clip.